Yeah, welcome everyone. Myself Maruti, welcoming you to Ram Maruti Tutorials channel. Right. In this video, I'm going to explain a sum uh, which is dealing directly with arithmetic progressions and specifically we have selected a problem or a sum which is dealing with sum to n terms formula. Right. So this sum to n terms formula generally will be an application for us into the real life. Right. To find the measurement of any string, to find the measurement of any value or any rupee, value of a money or whatever it might be. Sum to n terms formula is generally applied into a real life a lot of times. Now, in this question, we are dealing with a spiral. If you check it out, we are dealing with a spiral. So he ha he is asking us to find the length of the spiral, right? You know what is the meaning of uh, spiral. So spiral is not a circle. Spiral is not a circle, but it is made up of n number of or the required or given number of semicircles. Semicircles. If you check it out here, this is the first semicircle, and from here onwards one more semicircle and if you continue like that there are as many as as it is required we are dealing with the semicircles so here in this problem in this question we are dealing with the semicircles and we are going to find the length of the entire semicircular or what is that spiral now let's get back to the question so what he says is a spiral is made up of consecutive semicircles. So consecutive, why is talking about? There are different different semicircles what we are having here. So this is the first semicircle and this is the second, this is the third and this is the fourth and we are continuing like that. But we have to remember semicircle definitely requires two things. One is center and also radius. Whether it might be a circle or it might be a semicircle, we need center and the radius. Okay, so now let's come back to this. A spiral made up of consecutive semicircle with the centers alternatively A and B. Right here, focus again back here. This is a semicircle with the center A. Right, this is a semicircle with the center A. Now, this is one more semicircle. But the center is not the A, it's nothing but the B, right? Why? Because you can see the size of the second semicircle is bigger than the first one. It made B as the center and this becomes the semicircle. Now, alternatively, now if I get back to the third semicircle here, again the center of that one will be nothing but the A. So that's what he says. Once the center is A, again the center is B. Again the center is A, again the center is B. Alternatively, for the semicircles, the center is keep on changing. Why? Because the size of the semicircle is keep on changing. Live alternatively. So that is the point what he is saying. So that what he says, a spiral made up of consecutive semicircle with the centers altering A and B. Fine. Now, right, starting with the center A and uh, again continue. Starting with the center A, then it is going to B. Again, it is coming back to A. Again, it is going on to B. So, for the semicircle, two things are needed. Center and one more, the radius. Oh, is he talking about the radius? Let's see there. So, the radius are 0 0.5, 1 centimeter, 2 centimeters, continuously going on. Means... When the center, further, if you take the first semicircle, the center is A. And what is the radius of that one? As he said, it is nothing but 0 0.5 centimeters. Now, for the second circle, right, when the center is B, right, what is the radius? He is saying 1 centimeter. Again, for the next alternative one, again the center is coming, jumping back to A. And the radius is increasing to 1.5. So, radius are 0 0.5. 1, 2, 2.5, 3 and continuously it is going and the centers are A, B, A, B. It's continuously alternatively. Now, what else he is saying? Showed in the figure. He has shown in the figure. Now, find the length of the total spiral made up of 13 semicircles. This is very, very important. Yes, he is talking about semicircles. For every semicircle, we need center and also the radius. Yes, we got it. But how many semicircles are there? 
right how with the, this spiral is made up of how many semicircles it's nothing but 13 semicircles are there now what is the given question now so what is asking what is asking us means so find the length of the total spiral this spiral what is the total length it's nothing but it is nothing but sum of the lengths of all the semicircles to find the to find the total length of the entire spiral what is the concept what we are going to use it's nothing but sum of the lengths of the all semicircles right so now let us get get back to the sum now given what he has given totally how many number of semicircles are there if you check it out what he has given number of number of semicircles how many semicircles are there? So the number of semicircles are nothing but the n. That's the main point what we are supposed to consider. Now, if you consider what are the, he's talking about the lens, right? As he's talking about the lens, let's label it up. Let's label it up. So the first length, what is the length of the first semicircle? Let it be L1. Right. What is the length of the second semicircle? It's let it be L2. That's what we are saying. Let, let, Right, L1, L2, L3, and so on. Right, it's nothing but L13. Why did we take L as N13? Why? Because number of so many circles he has given N as 13. How many semicircles are there? It's nothing but 13. So, number of semicircles are 13, and the length, the length L1, L2, L3, and so on, L13 are the lengths of semicircles right right all the semicircles let l1 l2 l3 are of the lengths of now if you focus on the length of what's the formula we are dealing with so we can straight away say right uh, length of the semicircle is nothing but half the circumference of the entire circle Yes, half the right. We, we have to consider that one. Let's find, right, uh, we know that, what we know, right, length of a semicircle, length of a circle, semicircle is half of the, what's that? Half of the circumference of the circle. We know that length of, right, each semicircle, what's the length, right? L equals, right, it is not, right, half of the circumference, right, half of the circumference, which is nothing but a 2 pi r, now if you cancel 2 and 2, now what we are getting, it's nothing but pi r, so you have to remember, what is the length of each semicircle, it's L is equal to pi r, Pi is nothing but, as you all know, it's a constant. It is 22 by 7 or 3.14 or 180 degrees. But here, it's a constant. But we are dealing with the radius. Radius is very, very important. Now, instead of dealing, this is the general formula what we got. So what is, let us do, let us take every semicircle. Let us take every, this is the formula what we are going to plug in there. Now let us consider the length of the first semicircle. First semicircle, let us go step by step. First semicircle, let us calculate. So let us take the measurement there, right? What are all the terms he has given? He has given the first semicircle is this, right? The center is A. Right? And what is the length we have guessed it as? Just now, we guessed the length of that one as nothing but L1. Okay? And for here, he has said the radius, radius is nothing but 0 0.5 centimeters. Okay? And we have considered that L1, this is R1, and L1 to find, let us plug in that one, that is pi into R1, which is nothing but pi into, it's nothing but 0 0.5. Okay, so for the first semicircle, what's the length? It's nothing but pi into 0 0.5. The measurement from here to here is nothing but, it's nothing but 0 0.5. Now let's get back to the second one. Second semicircle. 
right if you go with the second semicircle it's straight away the center is changing the center is changing if you check it out this is and the center is b right the center is b now comes the tricky part that is here r2 is nothing but one centimeter and then what becomes the length here l2 right if you go with the l2 it's nothing but pi r2 and it is nothing but pi into one centimeter okay so see here Alternatively, it is moving. Alternatively, it is moving. First, it is going with the center A and again with the center B. Right? First, the radius is nothing but 0.5 and later on, the radius is nothing but 1 centimeter. What might be the third one? What might be the third? Third is nothing but, as we said, L3 pi R3 and the value is nothing but pi 0.5 centimeter. So, this is how it is going. Now, let us calculate that total length now if you want to find the total length now the total length right total length of spiral right if you calculate the total length of the spiral straight away we can say the total length is nothing but sum of the lengths of all the spirals it is as we said it is nothing but l1 plus l2 plus l3 and so on till l13 Okay, so that's the total length here. Now, if you plug in the values, what is the L1 value we got here? Right, the L1 value, just now we have checked it out. It's nothing but pi into, right, 0 0.5 plus, what is the value of L2? Just now we plugged it in there, pi into 1 centimeter. Now, alternatively, the length, the radius has been increasing. So, now if you check it out, pi into 1.5 is nothing but the length of the third. And so on. And it's so on. It is continuing to how many? It's getting it. It's continuing till pi into, what is that one? You can go it as the radius of the 13th one. Okay, of course, of course, you can, you can place it as 6.5, right, 6.5, if it is keep on incrementing, we can go in, otherwise, we can just ignore that. Now, if we are applying to find, to find, if you check it out here, if you check it out here, if I take pi as common, if you take pi as common, right, if you take out pi as common, it's nothing but 0 0.5, 1 plus 1.5 plus 2 and so on. It's getting continued, right. So now, if you check it out there, if you check it out there, here comes, in this one, if you check it out, it's nothing but, it's dealing in terms of SN formula. Sum to n terms, how many terms are there? It's nothing but 13 terms are there. In this one, in this one, straight away if you go, if you consider that as a series, A is nothing but 0 0.5, yes, right. Of course, we can do a tricky part, it's easy part. 0 0.5, we can convert it as 1 by 2. Right, later on it's nothing but 1, 1.5 is nothing but 3 by 2 and so on. It's continuing till how many terms? It's nothing but 13 terms. Now, if you check it out, A is nothing but here, what is the series? In the series, if you consider it as 0 0.5, which is nothing but 1 and the difference between this one, the difference between these two, if you can check it out, again it is 0 0.5. So, here again we are getting the same difference as 1 by 2 and the total number of the total number of loops or the spiral semicircle we are having it as 13 as we have given in the question. Now let us plug in the value for that one. It's nothing but pi. If you plug in the value of that one using the formula SN is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. If you plug in the formula in this one n by 2, what is the n value? 13 by 2 into 2a. What's the a value here? Which is the first term? n by 2a plus n minus 1. What is the n value here? 13. 13 minus 1, 12 into d. What's the d value we got there? It's nothing but 1 by 2.
Okay, now if you simplify this one straight away, we can say that, right, it's not 2a, it's nothing but 2 and 2. It gets a cancel. And if you check it out, 2 ones, it's nothing but 6. If you check it out again, 13 into 13 by 2. Of course, of course, it's nothing but, if you check it out, it's 1, and here it is nothing but 6. Okay, now the very very important point what I want to say just now I said the value of pi we can substitute the value of pi as 22 by 7 13 by 2 and here it comes it's nothing but 7 okay cancel this 7 and 7 yes 2 ones and 2 elevens and if you multiply 11 into 13 so of course you know 11 into 13 is nothing but 143 right now what is this 143 143 is nothing but the sum of the lengths of the all 13 spirals or the 13 semicircles the entire spiral is made up of 13 therefore let's come to the conclusion there therefore length length of spiral right length of the fire spiral is 143 centimeters so this is the guys so we are dealing with the sum which is dealing with a spiral and the value of some two enters now, right total number of uh, same circles 13 we calculated as l1 l2 and 13 and what's the formula we are using length of the semicircle is nothing but half of the circumference it's nothing but pi r we took the first one radius is 0.5 we got the length as pi into 0.5 the length of the second semicircle is nothing but pi into 1 centimeters to find the total length l is nothing but sum of the lengths of all the semicircles it's nothing but point this but we are taking pi as common now the series what we got inside is nothing but a ap series in that ap series a is nothing but the first term common difference is nothing but 0.5 the total number of terms or the total number of semicircles are 13 and i am using the formula sum to enters formula n by 2 into 2a plus and minus 1 into d if you check it out the total length of the semicircle we are getting it as 143 centimeter so guys you Use this formula in finding out the lens of anything. Thank you. Hope you are able to understand. If you like it, just subscribe the channel. Thank you. Mahati.